You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and we're gonna be playing Mega Man 8 on the PlayStation Classic. Let's see how it performs. And of course, Mega Man, very well-known series, starting out on the Famicom or the NES. Progressed to the Super NES or the Super Famicom, and here on Mega Man, I mean on the PlayStation 1. Um, Mega, Man, Mega Man 9 though, after being dormant for how many years, it came back on the Wii. And it had the same graphic style as the NES versions of the game. Mega so Mega Man 8 and 7 I think had the distinction of having a different graphic style in the sense that it's uh, they're more bigger and colorful and let's see how this game performs on the PlayStation Classic and uh, I'm gonna skip the cutscenes because that's what I usually do because they don't have any problems Ready. usually Um, okay, I haven't even progressed in the game, but I can already feel some problems. And I think you're seeing it too. I wonder if it's a problem with 2D games in general, because it's similar to what, I'm exper what I experienced in Castlevania Chronicles. And that there's uh, some sort of uh, screen lag. And of course you may... Maybe you're able to fix that just by tweaking the settings on the emulator. Maybe with the frame skip or something. That's very much possible. I'm just leaving it at the default for the purposes of testing out here playing the game just loading it and then playing it straight away and seeing how it performs but uh, yeah there is some how do I, how do I, there definitely seems to be some issue here uh, unfortunately it's not... It makes the game uh, less enjoyable. Basically, it's not the definitive way to play this. You might as well play the collection, which includes Mega Man 8, I think? Or was it just Mega Man 1 to 6? I never really got that collection, to be honest. Mostly because, you know, uh, 1, 2, 6, it's widely available everywhere else. They already had Mega Man collections before. So I never got the, like, the newer collection. But I suppose if you're really itching for some Mega Man uh, gameplay and you don't have anything else but the PlayStation Classic, um, the game is still playable. It just has some problems. But a good game is a good game. So. I suppose it's really up to you guys. There are a lot of other games that can be played on the classic anyway. So I'd say maybe this is for the Mega Man fans, Capcom fans. Here. 
may affect your performance sometimes, like as you see there. Uh, kind of messes up your timing when that 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 lag happens. And uh, yeah, so far from all the testing that I've done, it seems to be occurring often on. 2D sprite based games. Most of the, the 3D games that I played play out uh, just fine. I never experienced that on the th on 3D games. Mega Man, of course, making his appearance in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh wait, I forgot who am I supposed to go first here? I think it was this guy. I think. <laughs> so unlike, say, Mega Man 2, which I played countless times, even to this day, uh, this one I didn't really play as often. Perhaps I just enjoyed the simplicity of the 8-bit games. the one that does that? Or was that in Mega Man X? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's me with my awesome reflexes. Alright, 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 let's try that again. It's auto-scrolling, so that should be interesting. Let's see how it affects the... how the screen lag affects the gameplay here. But okay. That's weird. I pressed the jump at the right time, but it seemed to... Oh yeah, I have to press it harder. Alright, alright, let's try that one more time. No! Hmm... Controls are definitely needs getting used to. Normally I wouldn't need to say that on a Mega Man game. But there's definitely something there. Um, anyway, I think that should be it for this video. I won't take much more of your time. You've seen how it performs and I as I mentioned, there is some issue regarding the scrolling. It may mess up your timings and all. Or may not. Maybe you need just to tweak some settings. I'll leave it to you. Probably turning off the frame skip. Alright, let's try that just at one more time. I'm wondering if it's because of a lag of some sort, or maybe just me needing practice. Alright, one thing, I have to press the button a lot harder. Well, 
Well, at least I got farther this time. Yeah, one thing is that I have to press the jump uh, the button. Ah! I had to press it harder than I should. So if I tap it, it makes that short hop. I I'm trying to recall if it's it was really like that on the original console version though. But anyway, yep. That's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching 8 bit days a week. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Check out more videos of me playing, trying out uh, PlayStation games on the class, seeing how they perform. And thanks for watching.